I'm Marcus French, with the Vice President with the Portland Chapter of the IIA. I'm here to talk about data analysis at small audit shops. Now, to start data analysis is the process of inspecting, cleaning, transforming and modeling data with the goal of discovering useful information, suggesting conclusions, and supporting decision making. Uh, data analytics can be used to improve testing by allowing auditors to better define populations and in some cases test 100% of a population. There are software tools available for, for auditors to use such as ACL, TopCats, and the Active Data to perform all the functions to improve audit work, but there are significant barriers for small shops. First is the cost. A 2012 AuditNet survey found that among audit functions that did not have the data analytics software, 75% cited cost as the reason they did not obtain it. This is understandable. Management may be reluctant to spend money on software that is not used all the time. The second factor is the amount of time that staff will have to invest learning how to use the new software. It can involve writing scripts that the software runs to analyze the data, and this isn't a skill that people typically have. Uh, these issues wouldn't be as detrimental to a large group uh, as it would be easier to absorb the cost and allow for days or weeks of training, but they make these products far less attractive to small groups. This is the position that I found myself in, with big aspirations for data analytics but at a small shop where we couldn't buy any of the good software. But rather than just accept it, I went out and found ways that I could make it happen. Now, some simple ways that analytics are, are used in Excel are the sort and filter functions. Now, many people are already familiar with these tools and may not realize that they're already using them to perform these types of analytics. For example, a filter function is a quick way to better define a population for testing. If invoices are being tested, the filter can be used to show only the relevant range of dates from the entire data set and used again to show only the invoices that are of the material amount for testing. Uh, the VLOOKUP function is another tool that some are familiar with. This function searches for a value in the first column of a table array and returns a value in the same row from another column in the table array. Auditors can use this to look up records in large worksheets. Array formulas are a tool that are useful but a bit more complicated. An array formula is a formula that can perform multiple calculations in one or more of the items in an array. Array formulas can return either multiple results or a single result. For example, you can place an array formula in a range of cells and calculate a column or row of subtotals. You can also place a formula in a single cell and calculate a single amount. These are useful when building tables to analyze and summarize data from an Excel workbook. The Excel tool that I found the most useful using data analytics for determining population and testing full populations is Visual Basic Macros, used in conjunction with the sort and filter functions. I use it most often to compare data sets to extrapolate useful information. Uh, this is useful for defining populations, for example, testing user account terminations. I use it to quickly compare employee terminations for a period of time to a user account report from the start of the period. Uh, this is important because not all the terminations in the report had user accounts, so it did not properly define the population. I also use it to perform testing over 100% of a population. For example, I can compare the same terminations report to a user account report from the end of the period to ensure that all the accounts for terminated, for terminated employees are deactivated, or the terminations report to the company credit card holders to ensure that no terminated employees have active credit cards. This is comparing thousands of records, and that would take a significant amount of time to perform as a manual process, and the manual process would be less reliable. This has not only improved audit work, it has added value to the business. I've taught these techniques to people in other departments who now use them in their work. In conclusion, the last and possibly most important tool for an auditor that is interested in improving data analytics is Google. There is no reason to reinvent the wheel in this process. Chances are someone else has done what you are attempting to do and you can take advantage of their experience. I have not yet run into a situation where I had an idea for or questions about data analytics and could not find relevant information with a quick internet search. If you have a question or an idea that you want to explore, you can just go out and find the answer.